You may be asking yourself, what are video games and what the hell is esports? In 2014, if you compare the music industry sales to box office sales and then compare that to video game sales in the same year, it's pretty clear that it is a big portion of the entertainment industry. So what is esports? Esports is just like other sports. You have the NBA, you have the NFL, you have baseball. Esports is a subculture within the video game industry. It's people watching the best people in the world play those games. Some of you may doubt that esports is a traditional sport or could be called a sport, but there's absolutely no denying the amount of growth that's happened within the space. There's a lot of games that revolve around esports. There's fighting games like Smash and Street Fighter. There's first person shooters like Counter-Strike and Call of Duty. And then there's strategy games like League of Legends and Dota. And League of Legends is the most popular game right now. There's about 27 million daily active users and about 67 million people that play each month. In fact, League of Legends, they host a world championship at the end of each season. And the last world championship in season four, the total viewership for that event was actually higher than the World Series and the NBA Finals in the same year. It all started as a spectator event with just a handful of people watching, and now it's a worldwide phenomenon. We're filling up the Staples Center and the largest venue in Korea. These professional gamers practice 10 to 12 hours a day. Some of these guys have million dollar contracts. The dedication is there. They are athletes. When you watch these esports games, you feel the excitement. You know the players. You know what's on the line. There's millions of dollars at stake. There's crying, there's excitement, there's adrenaline. It's just like traditional sports. And that's what esports is. In League of Legends, there's 10 teams that compete in North America. And one of those teams is Team Liquid. And we've partnered up with HTC to present a documentary series called Rebirth, which is a behind the scenes look at Team Liquid through their competitive season. If you wanna watch Rebirth, make sure you subscribe below. Oh, sorry, my phone. With the way our team currently works, we're not gonna win Worlds, probably even get to Worlds with, if we just keep going on and pretending nothing's wrong within our team. In the end, we're just all frustrated because uh, we're just not doing well and we're, we're not a team. And I know that we could be a really good team. I honestly still believe we could be the best team in NA. But. Yeah, you were this world champion. You were like the king.